What separates the best servers in the world from everybody else? And what could be holding them back from serving better? Well, in today's lesson, I am going to analyze Denis Shapovalov's serve. He's serving at the Australian Open. I'm gonna show you what he does well and maybe what he could do better. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. We've got some match footage, I should say practice footage of Denis Shapovalov. And he is practicing at the Australian Open. I wanna show you some of the things he does very well with his serve. I wanna point out some subtle details that are being overlooked. If I was on his team, I would definitely be addressing this. And these are the little things that could keep him from getting into the top five, the top three in the world someday, if they're not picked up sooner rather than later. Okay, start with the motion. He's in a platform stance. I love how the front foot is basically parallel to the baseline. I love how this back foot is turned out. This will allow him to turn and to coil appropriately. I love how his weight is on his back foot. I think he could bend into his back leg a little bit better, but I love how he's on his back foot. You can see this because the toe of the front foot is up. I love how his tossing arm is straight and he releases from his front thigh. I like that. He doesn't, he doesn't have a huge turn like a J toss, like a lot of players do that are not pros. They, they try to turn their body and then bring their tossing arm too far back. I like how he releases from the thigh. I like that straight arm. Look how he releases the ball just above eye level. I love how this racket is lagging. It's beautiful. As soon as he releases the ball, look, he starts to bend his knees. So his motion gets going. A lot of players, they toss the ball and they wait. They toss and they keep their legs straight too long. I love how he bends. I love how he gets down. Look at that hip coming out over the baseline. We're going to talk about that in a moment. I love how his tossing arm is totally straight. It does come back pretty far, but that's because of this bowing that he's creating with the hip. Again, we're gonna get into that in a moment. I love where his elbow position is. Look at this right angle right here, amazing. The racket position, look at that, amazing. I like to have that racket tip pretty close to the tossing hand and not have it way back here. That looks good. <clears throat> He does break the plane a little bit. So if I were to draw a line from the front of his face through his spine, you'll see how this tip of the racket crosses over just a bit. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. Racket drop, look at that racket drop. That hand is way below the elbow. He's got, obviously he's got incredible flexibility in the shoulder. It's beautiful. Nice extension, hand is Offhand is pulling into the body. So many good things happening here. Let's see how the pronation is. Amazing pronation. Great landing. Look at the landing with balance. I mean, this is high, high level stuff. This is a nine out of 10 serve. It's not a 10 out of 10, it's a nine out of 10. Let me show you where I think he can improve. It's right. Watch this front foot, watch how it spins and turns. The reason why it's spinning and turning is because that helps him get more turn and coil. If he were to keep his foot more flat down on the ground, he wouldn't be able to turn that much. So he's cheating a little bit. He's getting this incredible turn because he's lifting up and sliding or turning his foot. He's almost foot faulting, right? So this turn of this foot right here is allowing him to get the hip out. So that tells me that he either has an ankle flexibility issue or a hip mobility or stability issue that needs to be addressed so that he can be more stable when he pushes off the ground. <clears throat> you can also see in his back leg, look how, look how it drags in like this. So there's not a huge push off of the back leg. So this right here suggests, again, that he might not have the ankle flexibility going down, dorsiflexing. He has tremendous ankle flexibility to the side, <clears throat> but we want him to be able to drive more off the back leg. Maybe he has a hip stability issue as well. Now, all of this I learned 
by being a part of the Racket Fit group where we help people make the body serve connection. So where his technique is very solid, I think he has some limitations in what his body can do. And so he's compensating. Can he get away with it? Yes. Is this an amazing serve? Yes. Could he be number one in the world with this serve this day, someday? I think so. The issue though <clears throat> is that this repetitive motion over time could create injury and it's certainly not as efficient and as powerful as it could be. So what I would do with Dennis is I would get him an assessment where he could check out his hip mobility and stability and also check out his ankle mobility to be able to improve those areas so he can drive off the ground in a more efficient way, get his lower body to work better. Because as I mentioned earlier, this breaking the plane where this racket slightly crosses over this, if I were to draw a line from the front of the face down through the spine, that's happening because he's not driving through the back leg as much. Shapovalov has more of a lower body issue than he does anything else on his serve. And so if he corrects this, he'll become more efficient and he'll become possibly a better server. So I wanted to break that serve down for you today. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. As the serve surgeon, I love to go into tr tremendous detail. I wanna point out all the great things that he does, but I needed to point out where he could improve. And that's important for me and for you to understand to be able to educate you on the serve so that you can pick out the checkpoints that are gonna help you get better and also see where you might be able to upgrade your body. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with others, turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel. We've also got a free gift for you. It's a free instructional course. I've got lessons on the serve, the forehand, strategy, singles and doubles strategy and footwork. It's all inside the Tennis Evolution app, absolutely free. Click the link below to get started or somewhere in this video. We'll see you at the next lesson.